Welcome to Take Out News. I'm your host, Danny Lee. Today we have some tea. Mmm. That's my teacup in the background. Very refreshing. Mmm. I'm not going to hold you, so let's get into it. Tiana Taylor accuses Amon Schumpert. I always say his name wrong. I'll just say Amon. A failing to feed the daughters and parenting while under the influence. Mmm. You know what? Hold on. Let me get some more honey for my tea because it's just not teeing right now. So, give me a second. All right, I'm back. That worked. Delicioso. Anyway, let's get into it. So, a new filing in the couple's divorce proceedings shows the singer and actress raising concerns about Amon's state when caring for the two daughters. So, it goes on to say that Tiana Taylor wants to know that her kids are safe when they're with Iman. In a response to Iman... In Iman's response to the original divorce filing obtained by People Actress, alleges her former NBA star ex, also 33, has failed to provide proper care for the children. I can dig it, T. I can dig it. Now, when it does come to the time that Iman spends with um, the daughters, Rue and Junie, Tiana claims that the NBA star consistently fails to properly care for the minor children. This happens, you know, way too often, whereas though <clears throat> you having general concern for your children and their well-being and their surroundings may come off. It, to some people, they like to say, oh, um, that certain people are controlling or this, that, or the third. No, it's general concern of where your children are. Point blank period. Now, Taylor accuses him of failing to feed them despite being in the marital residence with the minor children. The mom of two also claims that Iman has been smoking wacky weed and being under the influence while caring for the minor children. I can see her concern. Any any parent can can see the concern. If if there's a history and other things are going on, especially that we don't know, we the people don't know about, um, it's valid. It's valid. So. Now included in the outline of, you know, her these filings, there was another incident in which Tiana alleges that Iman, Iman, whatever the hell, placed the two girls in a ride share in Chicago. You know, Uber, Lyft, something like that, which resulted in the minor ch- children being dropped off at the United Center in general population while he utilized the service as a private driver he he utilized another service for a private driver now the respondent consistently demonstrates a clear disregard for the safety of the minor children that's also in the filing notes how how did how did this happen i i i'm 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 <laughs> I'm bumble fudged. Like, how could this happen? This is, if anything really gets me heated, general population at the United Center. And it's not even the fact that they're entertainers kids. It's the fact that they're, they're kids. They're like small kids in around a whole bunch of people. But then adding on the fact that they are entertainers kids and they are celebrities themselves, that was that was had to be very dangerous and it had to be very traumatic for them kids. Now, Tiana filed for divorce in January of 2023, but waited roughly nine months to announce the couple's separation. Now, at the time, Taylor spoke about keeping a united front with her ex as they move forward as co-parents. I'm going to take a sip of tea. Mm. She said, in all fairness, her and her hus- ex-husband are separated, husband, whatever the hell you want to call them, and have been for a while. Now, Taylor wrote a post on Instagram to be 1,000% clear, and fidelity ain't one of the reasons for our departure. We are still the best of friends, great business partners, and are one hell of a team when it comes to co-parenting our two beautiful children. Um, yeah, she- when she put the co-parent in for, you know, I, it doesn't seem like, 
Uh, I don't know. I'm just the outsider looking in. It looks like that may have been one of the reasons for the departure. Because somebody just ain't getting her oosh together. You know what I'm saying? Now she continued. Most importantly, we are family. And in the 10 years together, 7 years married, we ain't ever played with or about that. It just seems to me like he ain't too serious about much right now. He just want to have his fun or whatever. I don't know. I'm just an outsider looking in, but you know. All right, so that first part was my editorial correctness uh, observation, if that's what you want to call it. But um, clearly, he needs to get his ish together. You know what I'm saying? We, we've, we've seen it even in real, you know, regular life with us regular people and we the people. He need to get it together. I think I think they are done with each other. I don't think they're getting back unless he does some counseling, which a lot of people that we don't get that enough in our community counseling. And I know that for a fact because it's much needed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's switch gears here and talk about something positive. Today's quote of the day is respect your haters. They're the ones who think you're better than them. So when you get ready and go to work today or have your day off and plan to luxuriate, just remember there's always someone in the background hating you, talking about you, always got something to say, never not, never positive. Just remember, there's always a hater somewhere looking up to you. Alrighty. <laughs> and for you, all you bosses out there, we're going to do a TikTok five minute foods. Um, this girl's making an egg, and I, I don't even know why this was submitted. This is stupid. It, and it's very underwhelming. I mean, at least give me gourmet. You know what I mean? This is just giving me, I was in the house, I had some bacon, lettuce, and tomato, and I threw it on a bagel. Okay? Yeah, so that was very underwhelming. All right, guys. I love you so much, and I will see you later.